Okay, I made it to my second stop. Now I'm at 272 Antiques. That's a cute little Christmas. More Lennox than I'd like. I'm not a big Lennox person. Uh, the little mini cup is cute. $10 is about what I get for those after fees. So far, everything I'm seeing is about retail. This is really fun. I've had this before. I always pick it up if I see it for the right price. Unfortunately, $20 is definitely uh, too much for me to do anything with it. I cannot help but notice that Christ reindeer it's just a single salt and pepper shaker though, and it's $20. Ah, so overwhelming. Although a lot of it does look to be newer. And yeah, a little, little under, <laughs> underwhelming up close. Got overly excited there, a little overzealous. Oh, I love these little um, bank Western Union gift dolls. I've picked these up a few times. Honestly, they're tough to sell, which surprises me. I've had all of these before and some of them I got stuck with. I've had them for like almost two years. And you know, I got to check out the ornament, seeing if uh, there's anything special kind of hidden in here. So far, it looks all pretty standard. A lot of newer stuff, hobbyist pieces. This Santa's fun, but 18 is too steep for me. Here's one of the huckleberries, $42.50. Those don't actually sell for that much. I think this gets me every time. This Lepton dog, so cute. $35, that's about retail on that. Love all the little peewees. And that Santa's, uh, the snowman's pretty cute too. You know, there's a lot to look at, but it looks like it's all pretty much new. I see this lamb planter. Hiding back here, it looks almost like uh, Rubens in our co. $15, that's pretty close to what I'd get for that after fees and I've had it before. Okay, well, there's definitely no shortage of Beanie Babies here. Looks like mostly newer toys or collectibles, collectible toys. Love this Kleenex ad, Kleenex mask, that's so fun. Is that an Austin? No, it's a Corvette, duh. The tulip pl girl planter, $3. She's seen better days. These are fun. That's a really good price too, $4 each. Feel a little strange not picking that up, but I don't really feel like messing with those today. This vendor always has such great squeaks. Unfortunately, they're always about retail. I definitely double look every time just to make sure. Now this Edward Mobley, I have not seen this one before. Edward Mobley is a really good popular maker. I feel like there's a part missing to it though, which is kind of turning me off. $10 is a really fair price for anything Edward Mobley, but that uh, makes me a little hesitant. That whole, look at the funny giraffe, oh my gosh. And then here's an Edward Mobley cat. He's seen better days for sure, and he's 30 bucks is about retail Santa I like these little Santa ornaments He's so cute and then this is one of those <laughs> huggers I guess they go on a pen or a pencil see a Santa planter hiding back here oh it's a bank 25 they make this in a planter version too 25 is definitely retail on that Spaghetti boot, 15. That's not my favorite style, though I do love anything Christmas with the spaghetti trim like that. And then cats are 24. It's a little steep. Look at this cute little elephant. Oh, it looks like he's uh, missing a partner of something, of some sorts, I should say. This looks like uh, uh, 10 bucks. Now their angels are usually pretty priced at retail too. There's a couple months though that I always check just to make sure like this February. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. <laughs> Pardon me. Now this February one, $20, that's a decent price but the paint is a little sloppy which is making me hesitant. Oh, look at this funny pig. 
10 bucks. That's about what I get for that after fees. I've never seen that exact version before. I like the USA pottery, but honestly, the Japan is uh, my favorite. This is definitely a fake out if I'm not, yeah, 1-800-Flowers. It's made to look like McCoy. Okay, whereas I'm not the biggest um, Lennox nor Mickey person, I'm like weirdly into this Feliz Navidad Mickey. That is cool. And it's got its bag of presents. That's too funny. I don't usually pay much mind to these uh, trees, but I love that it's pink and it's got the bird lights. It's a hobbyist one. It looks like it's missing its cord. 45 firm. They always have such fun clothing in this booth. I love this orange sweater. It's a little itchy though. The pool ball glasses are fun too. Here's this little girl. Oh, it's a candle holder and she is totally cracked. Love all the religious items, especially this one with the rhinestones, this planter. $9 as is though. Oh yeah, it's got a big crack. Can't do that. That's a shame. It's a really pretty one. Oh, look at this funny elephant. How fabulous is he? He's a happy guy. How much are you? Funny elephant. Works, $45. Can't do anything with that, unfortunately. What about this Santa? It's a creamer. Santa creamer, $6. It says mug, but it's definitely a creamer. The price is definitely right. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is Napco. It's part of a larger set. Hmm. It's, the price is right, but I don't really want to check out with just this one item. Hmm. I'm gonna keep looking, see if I find anything else. I might come back. Look at these guys. These are fun. Six dollars each. Kind of looks like George Briard. Jeanette glass. Huh. What's oh, this little creeper down here? <laughs> How fabulous. Oh, he's got a tag. Gunned. Four dollars? Does that say four dollars? Well, gee, for $4, I have to get this. Is he like really beat? Oh, he's got some nastiness on his uh, outfit. Ew, that's kind of gross. <sighs> I don't know what to do here. Eh, I'm not sure if I can get behind this stain, honestly. The price is definitely right though. Oh, here's one of those Department 56. Google Eye things I was talking about. $56 is definitely about retail though. They go for that much, surprisingly. Here's the cats. Those are reproduction though. This is an interesting piece of art glass. Huh, what does this say? Sign blown glass 18 plus 20%. I feel like that's a really fair price. It's not really my thing though. Oh, look at that funny guy. Well, is this not the goofiest thing ever? I just figured out it's a hand puppet. <laughs> I guess you can move its beak. It's really quite spectacular. It's got a tag on it, 1985. Huh, interesting. 35 bucks though. Love the Charlie McCarthy chalkware. It's in pretty good condition too. Those are kind of hard to find. Not all chipped up. Salt and pepper shakers, my favorite. Cute little elephants. These are only $6. They're adorable. Hmm. I like this owl planter too. I've bought in a couple likes that, uh, like that recently. They've been kind of hit or miss. It's a fun shape. $10 is definitely the right price but I'm kind of looking for something that makes me like gasp. Look at this bunny planter. Uh, Rubens 25, that's about retail and it's got a little bit of wear. What is this? When your day is dragging, take a sip. <laughs> that's 80s, it's fun though, for sure. Love stuff like that. Ooh, I like this like custard glass, 47. 
Well, nothing there today, but that's okay because my next stop is Mother Tucker's and there's no way I'm not finding it there.